This lesson is on polyhedra, or some of the three-dimensional geometric shapes. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure whose faces are made up of polygons. There are lots of three-dimensional geometric figures, but polyhedra are only those whose faces are shaped like a polygon, as in the pictures below. See the triangles, squares, rectangles, etc.? This makes them a polygon, a polyhedron, rather than just another type of three-dimensional shape. The most common polyhedra are pyramids and prisms. These are the named shapes. Sometimes we'll have a shape that doesn't fall into these specific categories, and so we have to come up with a more creative name. Here the green polyhedron is called elongated pentagonal cupola, where a cupola is an architectural term that's kind of like a dome at the top of your house. The decagonal bipyramid is two pyramids glued together with 12 sides, and as you see, each of their faces are triangle polygons. Polyhedra are named by their orientation and the shape of their bases. They can be either right or oblique, and their bases can be triangular, rectangular, hexagonal, etc. We can also classify polyhedra as convex or concave. Let's take a look at each of these ideas. A right polyhedron stands up straight when it's laid on the table. It forms a right angle to the table. If we drew a line from the middle of the top base to the middle of the bottom base, this line would be perpendicular to the table it's standing on. Oblique polyhedra lean so that our perpendicular line no longer goes from the middle of the bottom to the middle of the top. Another way to think about this is the upper and lower bases are still parallel to each other, but they don't line up directly over each other. This is like when we take a ream of paper and sort of shuffle it so it leans to one side so it's easier to pick off one sheet at a time. We've changed that ream of paper from being right to being oblique. Convex and concave polyhedra. For the convex polyhedra, just like the polygons, if we wrap a rubber band around it, it will touch all the way around. If we lay a convex polyhedron on the table, each of the faces will lie flat or kiss the table. For a concave polyhedra, this is a shape that dents in, and if we lay it on the table or wrap a rubber band around it, it's going to have a space. In fact, if we lay it on the table, not all of its faces will be able to kiss the table. Sometimes we have concave polyhedra that look like stars, and these are called stellated. Here is an example of a stellated dodecahedron. Some of these three-dimensional polyhedra are very special. They are the regular polyhedra. Remember from polygons that a regular polygon means all of the edges are the same length and all of the angles have the same measure. We're going to extend that to three-dimensional shapes and say regular polyhedra have all congruent faces. That means all the faces are exactly the same size and shape. All congruent edges, they all measure the same length, and all congruent vertex angles. So for three dimensions, there are three things that all have to be congruent. Here are the five regular polyhedra who are so special that we call them the platonic solids in honor of Plato. Their names are tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, dodecagon, and icosahedron. That one snuck in there. In your homework, you will be asked to find the number of sides that each of these polyhedra have. Sometimes we want to make our own polyhedra, our own three-dimensional shapes, and so we use a net, which is simply a two-dimensional pattern that when cut out, folded on the lines, and makes a three-dimensional figure. The nets above are the 11 possible patterns that will fold up to make a cube. The net to the left will fold up and make an icosahedron. In your homework, you will be asked to think about nets and use them in your mind. If this is hard for you to do, you may want to cut one out and fold it up as a manipulative to help you imagine what is going on.